Good evening, guys. So, this is obviously you're watching Happy's Lawn Care and Landscaping. So, this is going on the Lawn Care channel. I haven't put anything on the other one in a little while. We want to get a stand going. Rachel wants to, we have 10 pear trees. Rachel wants to put 10 pear trees out here, some of the white gala that I have up there. I'll show you what we're going to put out tomorrow. Some of our candles that we make, we're going to put out here. So I'm going to get this all mowed up and then we're going to um, get it straightened out, cleaned out edge. I'm going to concentrate right on this area here, all on this whole bed here. I'm going to concentrate so when people come and then I will then jump over to the front yard, get that done. So I will show you after I'm done what it looks like after I get everything mowed up and edged. Now, we're selling these strawberry plants. Look at them, see all the strawberries? So many strawberries. See them all down here? We're selling these strawberry plants for $25 each. There's like six or seven plants in them. There's strawberries all over them. Um, we figure that's a fair price. Um, you can take them out of the pots and replant them if you want to. But this is what we're gonna try to get for these. I said to Rachel, I'm willing to put, we have probably about 20 or 30. If we have 20 of them, I told her I'm willing to put 10 out there. And then what I'm gonna do is I showed you in a video on the other channel. What I'm gonna do is the runners, I'm gonna put them in the four inch pots, let them root, cut them off. And then I got more plants. I'll plant them all in a three gallon buckets and then Next year, we'll have another probably a couple hundred plants. So let me get this all cleaned up. I'll show you guys when I'm done. And then we will get some stuff done, get this set up for tomorrow, and let you guys know what we sell and show you what we're selling. Okay, guys, you see all my pretty plants out here. We are going to take some down to the road and sell them. Rachel wants to open up this afternoon and try to sell some of her plants. So I'm going to take, take things like a white jello down there, sell a bucket of peonies, um, a couple bushes down there, and she, I'm going to let her put half of all these strawberry buckets out there, not the blueberries, and then I'm going to grab some of these pear trees. We're going to take five of the um, Bartlett pears and put them down there and sell them for probably 75 bucks a piece. These ones in the big tubs here, not my peach trees. And the only reason I'm getting rid of five of the pear, we have 10 Bartlett pear. Rachel's gonna replace them with the other ones that are, uh, um, that you cross them with. She's gonna put some begonias down there, some petunias. I think she's gonna do a six pack for $12. Some calling vines are gonna go down there. Hostas these here all this stuff down here, up here so let me start moving stuff down into the driveway and then we will show you once we get everything out there okay. i brought some stuff out here i'm only bringing one of each plant except for the strawberries now these were selling for 25 bucks each what do you guys think you think that's a fair price 25 dollars each for these I think it is. I mean, one plant is usually five dollars, I think, and there's like five in each. So we're doing 25 for the strawberries. For these Bartlett pears, I think Rachel's got them at 75 each, or I think so, 75 each for the pears. The Weigella, she's got 60. Um, this she's got for 80, I think, and the burning bush will probably be 60 or 70. The hostas here are 20, I think she's doing 20 a piece. I think these she's doing 15 a piece. And the, I don't know what she's doing with that. But I'm gonna take a break. What I'm gonna do. Somebody slowed down. That guy really stopped and pushed the groundhog out out of the way. I would have let him run in the road. They're, they're like nuisances here. So if you guys are wondering, 
let me take you through. I haven't really taken you through the garden on the other channel. Um, we do have a lot of apples coming on the apple tree. I'm going to spray it down here. I don't know if you, anybody's watched the other channel. Down here, we started planting a while ago. Some of it's bolted, but the thing I like the most is the red cabbages. Rachel watered them. They're doing really nice. And the snow peas, surprisingly, but no snow peas yet. See, some of this stuff bolted, so it'll be no good. And then these cabbages didn't do as good. Then you come down here and look at the snow peas down here in the broccoli. Oh, we're going to have snow peas and the broccoli bolted. I don't know why. It got too hot, too erratic weathering. And then remember when I planted all this stuff, kale, radishes, lettuce. This is a mess out here, guys. It's still early in the growing season. Most of this is going to be corn, peppers, squash, and warm season stuff. It's hard growing cool season stuff here. And I, I don't know if I'm ahead or behind in the garden. I've been doing a lot up there. I have a lot of stuff up there I've been doing. Not, not really doing much down in this part of the garden. But look, we have yellow irises. Pretty. And they're probably, nothing's doing really great, to be honest with you, because we've had no rain on any of this stuff out here in seven days. It's been seven days. So it's the next day. I ended up moving all the pear trees back more so I can get the strawberries more light all along the front here. And then we brought all the dahlias and sunflowers off the porch. Everything's growing nicely. I'm going to start watering this every other morning now instead of every um, three or four mornings because a lot of this stuff dried out. My peach trees, I think, were drying out because of the flocks sucking up all the water and they're not planted in the ground. So I'm going to try not to get <clears throat> as complacent on watering. I moved the oak leaf hydrangea over here. Here, the woodpecker. I moved the oak leaf hydrangea over here because I didn't want to cover all these by keeping it here and I moved the peach tree back. And I have these two um, echinacea that are here that I want to be able to get more sunlight over here. But everything's looking really good. We got some rain yesterday, not enough. I put this wigella here, wigella here. Here's all our starts. And what we're gonna end up doing now is turning this up here into a seed starting area, um, anything that needs shade and all my cloning. What I'm gonna concentrate on cloning or propagating first and getting a lot of are, where are they at? These right here. This one here, I'm gonna start cutting all these cut cuttings off because they will regrow. I don't know where the other one is that I did. Let me see if I can find it. I know I did one. Did it get mixed up out? Oh yeah. So I did this a couple, couple weeks back and it rooted already. So I have another ice plant and I did the same thing with this strawberry. Remember I told you I was gonna plant this strawberry and then cut it once it rooted. I end up doing that, it's coming back. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing with these runners. This one's dying, that leaf. I'm gonna take these runners and I'm going to root them and just root hundreds and hundreds of strawberry plants. I mean, people will buy them all day long. There's another, see that? And I probably under fertilize everything, but that's fine. They're definitely underwater stuff. See that strawberry coming in? Yeah, because these, I mean, they're kind of heavy still. But if I reach down, by tomorrow, this will be a little dry. This one's coming in nice. Rachel's petunias. Um, and we did not, here's what the lawn looks like. I've been cutting this at four and a half to five inches. Um to keep it high i still haven't put a pre-emergent down i'm eventually going to and some fur i haven't even fertilized this this year but it looks pretty good for not doing that update 
since this is the lawn care channel. Our truck is done. It was the starter. It is covered under warranty, but we still have to pay $225, which honestly is not bad at all um, for a brand new starter. I think it was $775 altogether. Oh, and we did not sell anything at the stand yesterday. I didn't really expect to because of the fact that it was pretty late, almost five o'clock when I put stuff out. Now I'm gonna get down here and I'm gonna water all these strawberries tomorrow morning. Everything I'm gonna give water. Uh, I'll go up there and show you what I'm gonna do. I have worm buckets that flooded and the worms were still alive. Thankfully, I, I figured it out before and seen that and they didn't all die. So I think we still have some. Look at the painted ferns. These are really pretty. I'm surprised they do good here because there's a lot of sun here. And these here are torch lilies. If anybody did not know, those I'm going to separate two this year. And I think I have a bunch. Oh, look at Rachel's onions in our Ollie garden bed. I don't know. You guys let me know, everybody around that's watching this. How'd your hydrangeas do? All of our hydrangeas in the ground, these ones that did not come back except for down at the bottom. I think the freeze got them pretty good. Uh, we'll see, though. Here's a whole bunch more torch lilies. And what we'll do is we'll start separating this eventually and making more plants. These just popped up out of nowhere. These are yarrow. I like yarrow. These are really pretty. They'll get really pretty flowers on. Some people think they're a weed, but they are not a weed. They are really pretty. And these are the yellow irises. So this is going to be a garden tour on the lawn care channel. These are gladiolus that are coming up. This, I never moved it, so we have this growing right here. This is all the Black Beauty seed that I put down, if you guys see. Pop up sunflowers. This is all the Black Beauty seed, and I might have showed you guys this already, but whatever, we'll show you again. That's what one day of rain did. Gave it more um, growth. I'm gonna water all this out here too. These, I'm gonna pull these out, and I'll show you up there with the worm buckets. I'm gonna pull anything that's bolted out and give them to the worms that I have alive, there is a, oh, we're getting snow pea flowers on here. Oh man, wouldn't it be really nice if I found a snow pea? We need these to grow up here, guys. You guys gotta come over here more. I don't know why they always insist on falling, but we'll give you, these actually look really nice, these snow peas. Oh man, it just stinks that it is gonna get up to 84 degrees this week which they are not gonna like maybe we'll get some but can't control mother nature okay and does rachel have any radishes let's see these are big i mean there's i don't feel any radishes are these radishes let's just pull one out no not yet not yet. We'll see. Oh, a pop-up. Oh, no, that's lettuce. It's a mess out here, guys. But we're still early in the growing season, I promise. We'll have more on the other channel one day. And this will be all growing. My vision is cutting down these. They're dead, I think. I don't know. Maybe some will come up from there. But look at that. That's crazy. We had one good year of the fig trees and then, bam. Crazy weather killed these two. So we'll cut these out. We're gonna go ahead and start corn seeds all through here, intertwined between the, um, the bro not the broccoli, the cabbages. I'm gonna start corn all along that back row there. Um, the next row, we're gonna do all different tomatoes. The next row is gonna be peppers and more warm stuff we're gonna do there so okay guys what i need to do is figure something out with these worm buckets they're got worms all throughout them i tried to take this bucket out and put it on another one i had on the ground i had worms baby worms crawling out the bottom of it so i'm gonna clean all this up and maybe when you guys stop in the next video you'll see it completely different we do appreciate you guys watching please like comment share and subscribe and remember be happy or at least try have a good night guys well guys before i end the video i should show you over here 
these um, irises came up. They're really, really cool color. They're like a brownish red. I thought they were gonna be purple, but they weren't. And we are gonna have peonies that bloom soon. Cool. Do these roses have any buds on them? I don't even know what color they're gonna be. Oh yeah, they do. Cool. And we won't even talk about that. That's gonna be fun. Okay guys, once again, thanks for watching. We appreciate it if you hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Have a good night.